Welcome back, traders. In the last lesson, we learned about determining starting capital and position sizing. In this lesson, we'll talk about how to decide when to buy and sell in base trading. This strategy is very important for making the most money possible. Let's get started. Introduction to Entry Strategies In traditional trading, entry strategies are the techniques used to enter trades at optimal price levels. Traditional trading is different, where we focus on capitalizing on long-term trends. Traditional entry strategies are designed to identify key support levels for buying opportunities and resistance levels for selling opportunities. In base trading, we capitalize on price movements regardless of the direction of the trend. Unlike traditional strategies that focus solely on long-term trends, base trading takes advantage of emotional fluctuations in the market. As long as the price falls down emotionally and bounces emotionally, it doesn't matter where the trend is. Identifying Key Support Levels One of the primary entry strategies in traditional trading is identifying key support levels. These are price levels where buying interest is strong enough to prevent the price from declining further. Traders look for confirmation signals to enter trades near these support levels, such as price bounces or candlestick patterns. In base trading, we don't wait for signals or patterns to start a trade. Instead, we look for moments when people get scared and sell below a new base. Then, we wait for more selling after that and enter the market in stages to make the most of these situations. This is the panic dip that we want to buy. We do this because we can't predict when the panic will end. But that's okay because panic always leads to a bounce. So buying during panic can be a good bet if it bounces back to the base. Confirming Entry Signals Confirming entry signals is essential for ensuring the validity of our entry points in traditional trading. Traders may use technical indicators, such as moving averages or oscillators, to confirm entry signals and increase the probability of successful trades. By waiting for confirmation, traders can reduce the risk of entering trades prematurely. In base trading, we don't rely on technical indicators for entry signals. Instead, we look for signs of panic selling as our cue to initiate laddered orders and enter positions during periods of fear. Establishing Exit Strategies Exit strategies determine when to exit trades to lock in profits or cut losses. In base trading, where stop-loss orders are not utilized, exit strategies are crucial for managing risk and maximizing returns. We decide where to take our profits by aiming just below or right at the base level or sometimes both. Traders look at important support levels that become resistance for targets for making money to know when to exit the trade. Ideally, traders set a take profit order or just a regular sell order to take some money before the base is respected or sell when the base is respected or do both. Managing risk without stop losses. In base trading, managing risk without stop losses requires a proactive approach to risk management. Traders may utilize laddered orders in their position, sizing techniques to minimize risk and protect capital. By implementing effective risk management strategies, traders can mitigate potential losses and maximize their chances of success. As we conclude this lesson, remember that establishing entry and exit strategies is crucial for successful trading in base trading. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll look into practical examples of base trading techniques to further enhance your trading skills. Until then, happy trading.